just for you guys to enjoy the experience. So without further ado, hope you enjoy this video. I wake up at around seven and like to take my morning slow, make myself a nice cup of coffee and chill for a bit to sort out things I need to prepare for the day, read some news and reply to some emails. At around 8.20, I get ready for work, which is thankfully just my casual clothes as we change when we get to work anyways. And then time to hop onto the tube to get to work. After the train journey, I have the most incredible walk to work. How amazing is it that I walk past Parliament, Big Ben and the London Eye on the way to hospital? My commute is about half an hour and once I get to the hospital, it's time to change into scrubs. Things I carry around the hospital? My name badge. Apparently I look like a Chinese farmer. <laughs> Uh, my goggles, which we have to wear on the water clinically now. Pen for the notes, my stethoscope, my wallet. First thing that happens in the morning is that we have our ward round with the consultant to see the patient still in the wards. Hey guys, so just finished the ward round. Three patients this morning, one came in with a urinary tract infection, one came in with a fall, and the last one just with a bit of confusion, literally couldn't speak to him at all. It was a long morning, just had the consultant, just gonna finish doing some jobs now, and then we're gonna go for a coffee, and probably get some more referrals this afternoon. But so far so good, and hopefully it'll be a good day. After finishing with my jobs, it is time for a coffee break, and I go for my to the office to continue on with some job. After finishing the referrals this afternoon, but so far so good, and hopefully it'll be a good day. After finishing with my jobs, it is time for a coffee break, and I go for my classic choice, which is a coconut flat white, before heading back to the office to continue on with some jobs. Junior Doctor Life is a lot about admin and unfortunately I spend a lot of my time on the phone on hold waiting to speak to radiologists, speaking to the labs and the radiology departments. At around one o'clock we go for lunch and I usually like to go to the canteen where they've got hot food. Sometimes it's just nice to have a bit of a boost in the middle of the day. Today I've got some curry and beef and rice from the canteen. I grab that and then I head outside to eat. Out of 10? Uh, visually, probably a five <laughs> or less. Beef's definitely frozen. <laughs> the veg is definitely frozen. But hey, you get what you get. Um, but yeah, the backdrop is really nice. Lunch here is really nice. We've got Big Ben in the Parliament. We've got London High. Out here chilling with Megan, who is currently holding the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. And everyone else sat here as well, so. After we get back from lunch, I spend some time to make sure the jobs for the patients and the wards are done. I go and review a couple of patients, and this involves gowning up with an apron, with gloves, and with my glasses. So I've just finished seeing a gentleman that we got referred from a &E, an 82 year old chap who came in after having a fall two weeks ago and he had basically had some pain in his hip for the last couple of weeks that hadn't gotten better. Coming to hospital because it hadn't gotten better with paracetamol and codeine 
uh, and I've just gone to examine him and I had a chat with him. It seems like he's in quite a lot of pain, so I think uh, we'll get an x-ray. And pretty typical example of a patient that comes in to uh, see us under the elderly care scheme. I really like my work here because you work with all sorts of people and different teams. So we've got physiotherapists and occupational therapists who we work quite closely with and they'd be able to help us in terms of mobility and the social situation. And a lot of old people actually need help from that regard. The nursing team are amazing at what they do and they're super helpful when it comes to taking care of the patient. And you work with doctors from all different grades, the consultants down to the junior doctors. So you learn tons as well from the seniors. So I will just finish up here and go back to the wards and on to the next one. And of course, how could you spend a day in hospital without random noises going off left and right? And finally, at five o'clock, I am done, I get changed, and I head out the main door. Every single time I walk across this bridge, I am still in awe, and honestly, I don't think I'm ever going to get sick of working here. But anyways, I head off to the tube station to make my way home. After a long day at work, I like to spend my time just chilling. We often will play some Switch or play some FIFA. I'll get some food and just chill for the rest of the evening. Good morning and welcome to a day in my life as a junior doctor here in the UK. Today is a training day so I wake up at around 8am and take care of some personal hygiene so I can look presentable on Microsoft Teams. Yes that's right, today I get to train from home and get paid, so I guess you can call it working from home. Just allow me, okay? Anyway next, here's me making some aesthetic breakfast for the vlog. Normally I'll either have some muesli or scrambled eggs on toast, but since I don't have any travelling to do today, I decide to make myself some poached eggs on toast, seasoned with a dash of pepper. I guess you can call that gourmet, or something like that. I also pour myself a glass of OJ to get those early vitamins in. After breakfast, teaching begins for the day, so I log into my computer, check out the schedule for the day, put my desk into stand mode for the first lecture of the day. Hashtag deskflex. I love having this feature and definitely feel like the sit stand has improved my quality of life whenever I remember to use it, which I must admit is very rare. But we're working on that. Today we're learning about what to do in some acute scenarios like alcohol intoxication and oncological emergencies, so that's cancer. Quite a lot of it is stuff that I should already know from medical school, but there's no harm in a healthy amount of repetitive reinforcement. Hi guys, my name is Intikab. You would probably see me uh, at the International Medical Campus. I am the Chief Operating Officer, also a senior lecturer in the field of management. And uh, we are going to talk about interesting aspects on medicine. Before I go on with it, I would like all of you all to answer some questions. The questions are going to come in your screen, right? I will not 
have you more than one hour in this particular session. Within one hour, this is recorded. I will put it in YouTube. I'll upload it. You can check the YouTube videos later. I'm going to run a quick opinion poll. I'm going to give you uh, four minutes or five minutes to answer these questions. Mangvinadi hatarakko pahakkari denna. Eke vedagat scenarios tikak tino hundata teirum margane e prashnaval valta uttar lianda. E mama kathakarna prashna tika ugalange deng tire this window patangani samahara velavata. Right? Eta kota api balamu ek kuhumada let me see, let me see, let me see. Okay. Let me just adjust one of the uh, parts of it. Just give me a second. To make sure I really feel confident in the hospital, we have two lectures this morning and then an hour for lunch. Fantastic. For lunch, I heat up some food I meal prepped over the weekend, and this forms some heavily seasoned chicken tikka for the gains, rice for the carbs, and veg for the health. I'm also drinking some aloe vera because apparently it's good for your skin, or they say so. For me, it just tastes good, so I guess it's a win-win. I then sit on the balcony and munch this food. I try to be productive and read through some self-growth articles. P.S. For full disclosure, I was 90% scrolling through Instagram reels and 10% actually reading the articles. After lunch, I decide it's time for a scenery change and head to a local cafe my girlfriend's sister had recommended to me. I get ready to head out and make a scenic walk over to the cafe. I then order a cheeky oat flat white and get back to the teaching day for the two afternoon lectures which takes me up to around 4.30pm which is the end of the day in terms of work. This is when the real fun starts, am I right? JK. This evening I have a few plans, I need to go to the Apple store to fix my Apple watch, go to the gym and begin working on editing this vlog as I'm working long shifts this weekend and won't have time otherwise. So first I go back to the apartment, collect a parcel from one of these fancy collection points we have, drop off my bag and head to the Apple store. I go to the store, chat to some guy, hand in my watch and get a new one in replacement. And that my friends is Apple customer service for you. After this I go to the gym for a cheeky workout. Today I'm just working out in the gym downstairs for all of the residents. If you haven't already, check out my flat tour for a full tour of the apartment and also all of the amenities. After my workout, I head back upstairs and continue my journey towards optimal health and therefore put a pizza in the oven. Hashtag health is wealth. I think it's completely justified after a hard day of saving lives on Microsoft Teams.
Anyway, with dinner in my belly, I spend the rest of my evening watching Netflix, chatting to my girlfriend on FaceTime and casually editing on my laptop. At the moment I'm watching clickbait, it's really really good and I watch it in real time with my girlfriend. So that's the end of my day. Good night friends, I hope you guys enjoyed this day in the life. I'll be sure to make many many more. Okay, so guys, uh, I'm just trying to fix something. I'll give you one minute. Quickly grab a pen and a paper and uh, be ready. Now I'm going to uh, discuss some of these important things uh, which will actually be very concerned about your medical related admissions, medical related information, medical related news, right? With regarding to this, um, first of all, I would like to say that this is an event which is sponsored from the International Medical Campus. This is our website. We work a lot with a lot of universities for the last 24 years. So, Aurdu Visi Hatarak, Palapurutta Tina Aitanya Katiata, we are very responsible for everything what we are doing. I'm going to show you a small opinion poll. Uh, I can't. There is a small error coming in the setting, so I can't run the questions with you, but I will explain you what my thoughts are. Second is, can you go on uh, YouTube and search our channel called IMC? This IMC has this channel. I will say, please subscribe upon this uh, as a help and uh, share it with friends, uh, who are interested to follow medical content. So we've decided, we've discussed a lot of medical content here, lots of medical content, right? I want you to follow and watch all of these or most of these or some of these, you will learn something definitely, right? Can everyone see this particular poll which I have created here? Uh, for some reason, I can't launch this because there is an error coming. Uh, I have asked people, what language should this seminar be? Uh, if anyone has a preferable thing, you can let me know. Option number one is English and Sinhala. Option number two is English and Tamil. Or English main, but Sinhala and Tamil, I will add accordingly. Can you please come to the chat box and just say one, two, or three? Hurry up. Okay, three, one, two, one, one, two, three, one, two. So far, majority one is winning. So far, majority one is winning. Uh, three is a little, there are some two. Okay, right, thank you. Uh, usually, guys, I should be able to launch this, but I can't launch this because there is an error coming in my screen, right? Apart from this, can you come to question number two? Don't answer question number one now, finished. Question number two, what do you do? What would you do as a doctor? Number one, migrate and work overseas in UK, US, Australia, New Zealand, Canada, and Europe, or work in Sri Lanka and not migrate? Option number one or two, what's your answer? One, one, one. Interesting, no one says two. Brainy students, brainy students, congrats. Right, thank you very much guys. Thank you very much folks. Question number three, only four questions are there. Quite Prashna Hatharaiti, only four, four questions. Question number three. I like to, I like to, and I have stopped. I like to drive a Ferrari or a Lambo or a BMW. I like to drive a Ferrari or a Lambo or a BMW. Or I like to drive a Maruti, Suzuki and an Alto. Number one or number two? Okay. All those who have selected one, I'm not telling one is good and two is bad. I'm not telling two is good and one is bad. It's up to you. Take Okulangi choice. But may Vela may have theater. If you are selecting number one, you can't work in Sri Lanka as a doctor. 
if you are selecting number one, you can't work in Sri Lanka as a doctor, I repeat. You can't work in Sri Lanka as a doctor. You will take a long time to buy a Ferrari, a Lambo, or a BMW, or a Benz, or a luxury car with your own money. Parents but oya oya ge salli valin oya man karpu salli valin gattot oya ata eka karanda baha oya ata eka karanda baha me velave hatiyata eka prashnaya kattiyata tiyana oya drive karanda kamati me wage vehicles nan suzuki maruti nan i would suggest you can stay in sri lanka oya ata yantang oya aurudu 28 29 ya 30 wenakota earn karanda patan gannakota yantang 40 years wenakota you can buy these cars you can buy these cars. Then, oya itno the ahi hai kya nikela. Listen, I'm talking about 2032-33. The time y'all are going to earn is 2000. Me liya ganda me wo magiye ne ka 2030-33. 2033-wala tin situation ke balala tamai mama kya? Okay, one million will the tipa samahar motorbikes. Then two million, two point five million venava. 25 lakhs volt tibba vehicles, 40 lakhs venava. Dang, dang, dang. Ogalang tava dedas tistune, 40 lakhs volt tibba vehicles, anivar ring 110, 120 lakhs volt yanava, minna me vehicles. Mama a hai tu hinda tamai kyan, right. Uh, quick, fourth question. I am number one, satisfied with working in Sri Lanka, or number two, I am not happy in Sri Lanka. I am fed up and I want to go overseas. Okay. Number one, I, I respect your opinion. Number one, right? Two people have put number one, three people have put number one, right? So satisfied with working in Sri Lanka, right? If not, you can go overseas. If you're going overseas, mum metan yana practice. Country stick a dalatino. Hurry. Antima prashne. Very carefully listen. Mama kiena piliveleta. Mama kiena vidiheta. Agene indame antima prashne. Eat a passe a antima prashneta. One, two, three, or four kienical yand. Habei, mama iverana gum or duck in the Hatarama monkey one. I need to explain you. A explanation ni kanu atamai ogolang ogolang ka adal rata gana yam kisi adahasak darani. Right. Following is what I like to do. Man daalati no. Following is in what I like to do. Harida. Following in voice what I like to do. Okay. Mama daalati no metana. I like to study in a very expensive country. Ehe a country ekha koi vage the kela kyu what? Fusion nika ita matma dikai, living conditions ita matma dikai, and I will spend lavishly there with a lot of comfort. Mama adal rata tora ne matate kati ne me comfort dikat. I want comfort. Number two, study in an expensive country. The me vena samukadhi ke loya hai. Make a very expensive country. Make ita matma matagana. They will spend anything and send me abroad. number one. mama medicine mama honda medical career I will study medicine in a way that I will save my parents money. Yeah, number three, select karna putgalaya venas. Mama magi amma lagi salli nasti karani na. Mama magi parents lagi salli nasti karani na. Egulang goda kamaru eng dukmahan sing hamba kar pasalli. What is the US dollar conversion rate now? Our salli, our mudal has come down. The value has come down. The 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 whole system has come down. US dollar is very expensive now. How can I spend my parents' money? Mang koh mat karan nega. Mama Ammala to help a catheter, Ammala to lace you in the Mama Karadaragaran, Ane Ametate, Mata Samaning, Mata Sully Adwin Mayana, have a decent government medical schools theana, Ektara Ratak Matatorana, where I will study and enjoy my life. Mama Egulang is Sully Nasty Karan, right? Hatharavinikina Kena, I will study medicine in a risky country. 
matter they risk ek aragen mat igena ganda kemathi which is very low cost i am not worried about the quality of the university mato ya university ek thiyena doctors la labs hospitals etcher avabode anna mato oni nikam adduma university ekata yanda samahara velawata e prashna tibba kamanna these are the three examples uh, four examples please lock your answers majority is 3 itenin taam eliyata avena majority is 3 ek kenek 2 ek kenek 2 ek kenek 3 ait nada 5 seconds 8 seconds finish this poll right 5 4 3 2 1 Listen very carefully. Kole kliya ganda, kole kliya ganda. If you say you want to study in a very expensive country and have a comfortable life, you have to select these five countries: America, Canada, Australia, USA, New Zealand. America, Canada, Australia, USA, New Zealand. Number one. If you want to study. in an expensive country and have a good life as in my medical career you have to select malaysia you have to select malaysia if you want to study in a way that you can help to save your parents money but study in a decent government university oya yandone definitely belarus i katha dekak na belarus if you want to study in a risky country i will recommend you to study in a country called armenia if you want to study in a country where your life is in a risk you don't know what's happening i will recommend you to study in armenia which is low cost salli belarus ta vada samara velawata aduwen save karanna puluwang habai me risk ekak thiyena hitabu gaman internet weda karanne naha kiyai hitabu gaman mukak hari prashnayak wenawa kiyala kiyai i am not worried about the quality of the university i would say if you are looking at some option like that you can select countries like georgia or you can select countries like armenia or you can select countries like ukraine me velave ogolan ahana athi ai ehema kiyanne kiyala right can you come here and see in this google i'm going to go on google here and i'll just show you a small example travel ban to you have to find as uk travel ban to georgia okay go and see the risk of what will be in each of these countries like this ape lankave travel ban thiyena wena wena ratawal wala travel ban thiyena e travel ban wala thiyena prashna ata wataha gannu oni menna meka georgia wala thiyena travel ban ege thiyena tatwe you have to know this go through this i am not going to read a lot of this but you can go through and see all the issues which are there anavashya behet gande pa airport ekge gihila hiravei gihila me dala thiyena meka me kage website ekada me board agency website engalante board agency website me website ekka loke pura hama immigration uh, centers meka kiyawana oya yanawanna menna me me areas walata yande pa මොකද unexploded ordinance තියෙන හින්දා ඒ කියන්නේ land mines තියෙන්න පුළුවන් ඔයා බලාගෙන එක එක වෙලාවට යද්දී terrorist attacks can be rule out මෙන්න මේ විදිහට ගොඩාක් ප්‍රශ්න දාලා තිනවා මේ ජෝජියාවල මේක උගලන්ගින් පෙන්වන්නේ නැහැ උගලන්ට සමහර වෙලාවට officers ලා පෙන්වන්නේ නැහැ පෙන්වුවොත් උගලන් උගලන්ට එක argue කරලා කියයි ආ මේ පරණ website එකක් නේ ඔයාට පෙන්වලා තියෙන්නේ කියලා කියයි එහෙම ප්‍රශ්නයක් නැහැ කියලා කියයි ඔයා දුවල ගිහිල්ලා මේ සමර ඒකේ ගිහිල්ලා පෙන්වන්න නෑ 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 මේක පරණ වෙබ්සයිට් එකක් නෙමෙයි මේක ස්ටිල් කරන්ට් ඇක් 23 මේ කියලා දාලා තියෙනවා when is 23 may my dear students 23 may is today මේක ලාස්ට් අප්ඩේට් එක කවදද තියෙන්නේ 4th of may සති 3කට කලින් අද වෙනකම් කරන්ට් ස්ටේටස් එක මේක so when you select a country you have to look at general areas of that now let's come into 
how are we going to actually understand this right if you are going to enter a medical school you will be entering a medical school and studying around this particular time of the year i saw some people have been asking questions from me type your questions and keep i will give you the opportunity to ask questions in the next 20 25 minutes this session will be finished in about 25 minutes after that i will ask you uh, to post your questions me oya igena ganna kala seema va menna me igena ganna kala seema vevilla you are trying to get into the medical school here so this is going to be actually your first year this is going to be your second year this is going to be your third year your fourth year your fifth year and sixth year right this is how it's going to be you have to come along this journey up to here menna me journey ek patang ganne august 2022 i need to see your results by august 2022 if i can see your results by august 2022 i can invite you to go along this journey along this journey you finish the course at this last box menna metana natara wenawa you become a doctor at this particular area then avuruddha kiyada 2029 ai you are doctor so and so nama pidi passe md ena then apith ekak panas denek inna menna me session eke we have afra we have azma and so on so let's say if it is going to be afra it's going to be dr afra md dr azma arifin md dr chamila md dr fikra md dr gimhani masha md dr hasangi md dr kamsha md dr kavindu pramod md dr lakshan md yanadi washen मेचर दुरक मट मेचर दुरक इन मट एवं A level zone वेनो सामान्य CCS plus result देखा CCS CCC BBB BBC ABB ये वाके result होने वेनो मेन्ने में results देख कर ओगलांट सामारा वेला वट if you have these results वे आ you get CSS आ you get CSS sometimes you won't be able to get into medicine it becomes competitive competitive oya a level welling qualified vela tiyenawa namut madi not enough i can sometimes give you medicine i can sometimes give you dentistry i can sometimes give you pediatrics what is the difference all are doctors all are doctors have any of you all gone and removed your tooth from somewhere A dentist ke ane doctor ke lani the dentist is referred as a doctor. So you all are all going to be doctors if you do it. Only thing is if someone is at a lesser grade C S S or I will say S S S S S S. If you come to a grade like this, what I will say is that you sometimes can get medicine. I can't tell you immediate. i will also give you the area of dentistry i will also give you the area of pediatrics the area where you will be studying the science of looking after treating small kids small babies right so pediatrics is from when the baby is born one year up to 5 10 12 all those are regarding pediatrics ලෝකෙම හොඳ ඩිමාන්ඩ් එකක් තියෙන ඒරියා. What is the demanded area in dentistry in lot of countries like the west in United States, Canada, one of the most hard working people or the highest earning people are dentists. 
then this sarin la metana tikka special you know why when i look at all you 50 people who are joining here i can see that majority are females goda gahanu lamai metana inne api practically goda katha karamu gahanu lamai samara velawata kemathi naha ne nikan kaya 24 ning kaya nikan 18 wage weda karanna kemathi naha ne nathan kaya 10ak vitara weda karanna kemathi naha ne this is a lot of hours this is a lot of hours right you sometimes will have to spend a lot of hours as a doctor oyata office ekakata gihilla weda karanna wage me 8 to 5 jobs na have a dentist has an 8 to 5 jobs understood ekai man kiyanne meka goda kayata galapena pirimi lamainta galapena who wants to actually not overwork but have a decent job as a doctor gahanu lamain to ona wenawa because dentists can easily work from 8 to 5 pm oyata on call duty na ha normal doctor kenek nattam pediatrician kenek samahara velawata me kon godak velawata yenne normal doctor kenek ta ra dekata hospital eken call ei ane doctor wahama hospital ekata enda come to the hospital come to the hospital doctor there is a patient immediately you have to take care dentist ehem enne na ane doctor raggala enne me daggala wanda dina raggala enne na you give appointments you know what your patients are you give the time like that you don't have to worry about it the dentist's risk is very less you don't have to worry about it so if you want to get into that i will still help you on what you can do with that so all of you all get this results and you all will come here you all will enter this particular place from here in between we have so much of things which we will be doing with you so much of things so much of things you need to get your documentation your visas your pcr your ya tickets and after all this is done we will be placing you here your university education is going to be 5 months before a semester 5 months after the semester this is your first semester 5 months 5 months this is the second semester you will go another 5 months ah uh, then what is this line this is your vacation for 2 months what do i do in my vacation you can come for a holiday to sri lanka you can be in another country i will be if i was you i will be around europe traveling and having my research work done in various hospitals under various doctors remember you are you are going to select belarus as a 100% government university we will get government sponsorship for your visas if you are working if you are studying in a government university your visas don't get rejected you can any time go to uk go and work in the hospitals in london go and work in birmingham go and work in surrey come back to belarus and you can do your work when you are going and doing your work you have workshops in paris you have workshops in lisbon you have workshops in prague you have workshops in uh, berlin වාටක් ගාලා Facebook එක අප්ලෝඩ් කරනවා අද මගේ රිසර්ච් එකක් තියෙනවා කැන්සර් රිසර්ච් එකක් බර්ලින් වල තව දවස් 3කට පස්සේ මට පීඩියට්‍රික් සම්බන්ධයෙන් රිසර්ච් එකක් තියෙනවා ලිස්බන් වල and also for some sites seeing we are going to Spain අපි මියුසියම් එකකට යනවා Spain වලට this site kind of an experience if you want you have to go to Belarus if you if you want to study in one particular city you cannot do this If you want to have different experiences of what you want to do in these universities, you will actually be able to travel around different countries, and you should be able to actually learn this. It would be an amazing area to actually go into countries like Belarus. Now, what happens is when you finish this, men mevage mevage, you will be studying various subjects. Some of the subjects which you will be studying is. you will be studying pediatrics you will be studying surgery you will be studying internal medicine but menna me mama allana kota say you don't meet patients but where do you meet patients ah menna me hari so udaharane ekata kiwot mama surgery gana igena gena thiyena mama surgery walta adala patients lawa hamba vela ne i will be meeting the patients somewhere here i have studied psychology but i have not met psychiatric patients i will go to the patients ward here I have studied pediatrics, but I have not gone to the awards. I will go to the awards here. 
මම මේ ගයිනකොලොජි කියන එකන කියන තියෙනවා නමුත් ප්‍රෙග්නන්ට් අම්මලාගේ වර්ඩ්ස් වලට ගිහිල්ලා නැහැ එහෙනම් මම මෙතනට යනවා ඔන්න ඔහොම ගිහිල්ලා ඔක්කොම ඉවර වෙලා අන්තිමට අපි මේ ගහන බෙරේ ඉවර වෙන්නේ when you are a successful doctor you will make your parents so proud on the graduation day that they will cry මේ අපේ gedare haddunu wedunu me podi ekkena ne me doctor kenek vela thiyenne සමහර වෙලාවට ඔගලන්ගේ මේ සමහර වෙලාවට ඔගලන්ගේ මේ 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 අම්මලාට බිලීව් කරන්න බෑ අම්මලාට වඩා ඔගලන්ට ගහපු මේ ඉස්කෝලේ ටීචර්ස් වලට බිලීව් කරන්න බෑ ඔයා ඩොක්ටර් කෙනෙක් වුණා කියලා ඒක වෙන්න වෙන්න මේ ස්ථානයේදී ඒක වෙන්න මේ ස්ථානයේදී තමයි ඔයා you will be becoming a doctor හරි දැන් ඩොක්ටර් කෙනෙක් වෙලා ඉවර වෙලා ඔයා මොකද්ද කරන්න යන්නේ you need to understand that there are two career paths one is here one is here you need to work in sri lanka by registering with slmc registration the registration is done in slmc in colombo it is behind the eye hospital in a area called norris canal norris canal එකට ගිහිල්ලා slmc search කරන්න map එක එනවා එතනට ටක් ගාලා ගියා register වුණා when you register they will ask for your passport your uh, o levels a levels um, degree certificate and transcripts after you give all this they will tell you to follow erpm classes they will give you a list of doctors who are doing these classes you have to follow those classes when you finish the classes you will have erpm exams these exams have four areas ema nattam four parts don't think it's four papers four parts inside that four parts there are a lot of papers there are lots of papers may four parts you need to pass out this exams pass rate is 10% ඒකත් කියලා දාන්න ඕනේ මෙතනින් හැලිච්ච කට්ටිය තමයි මෙන්න මේ ගවර්න්මන්ට් ඉන්ටර්න්ෂිප් එක කරන්නේ this internship is all done under the government facilities in sri lanka to finish this entire thing it takes 3 and a half years ඔන්න කිව්වා it takes 3 and a half years දැන් එන්ඩ මගේ අර කතාව students do you think sri lanka will be a singapore by this year or not Yes or no? This is 2029. You are finishing this in 2030, 31, 32, maybe 2033. Mangar kaar wala price wakko ma kiyadhi. You thought no. Why is this person talking about another 10 years? What am I going to do for 10 years? Oyaata thama vedatiya no daru okaranda goda 10 years wilda. 2033. If you don't want this option, you can get a citizenship and be in UK, USA, uh, Canada, New Zealand or EU countries working with 8 to 10 lakhs starting salary. Salary scales can go up to 25 lakhs plus. You can buy your own vehicles. You can buy your own houses. You can just call your mom and say, මම මම අද ලන්ඩන් වල ගයක් ගත්තා මම අද ලන්ඩන් වල මෙන්න මේ විදියට මේ විදියට තියෙනවා මම මෙන්න මේ මේ ස්ථානයේ ගයක් ගත්තා කියලා වට කියන්න පුළුවන් I have a question been asked why do you say 10 years is in the study program 6 years I think uh, I need to clarify this the study program is here 6 years you will not work as a doctor after 6 years you need to come and do this this whole area will take 3 and a half years all together 9 and a half years may 9 and a half years i just say tawal maasa hayak dand it's 10 years so my area what i say is now it's 2022 by the time you finish this and come to sri lanka to earn it's going to be 2033 mark my words after 2033 only you will be working in government and private hospitals earning a good salary 10 years you need to be there e kiyanne meka patang anithima oyage vayasa 20 aina oyage vayasa 30 ak wenawa ehenan lankave first shy second shy third shy karana lamaita mokadda wenne some of these kids are 23 years first shy second shy third shy some of these kids are 24 years that means by the time i am going to hospital i am going to be 34 years yes you are going to be 34 years 
all your friends who went here have been starting to earn a little early you have to understand that in this area if you go you will call and tell your mom that you have bought a car with your own money you can send lakhs and lakhs of foreign currency to your parents so that they can sponsor your next kid your brother your sister your cousin other siblings oya me wage salary ekak hamba karana nang maase ekata me starting salary ya eet passe maase ekata hamba karana na why can't you call your school and tell you will sponsor brilliant children who can't enter medical schools metan api itum lamek inna lyceum wala nattang anand nattang there is a student from maybe takshila central college there is a student from thurston college there is a student from dsna nayaka you take the phone and you call your principal and say i am dr manoj silva speaking here i'm an old boy of dsna nayaka take the phone and call your principal at devi balika or visaka or sirimao i am dr pravina speaking here can you put me in touch to the old girls association because i am a doctor working in london i am a doctor working in new york i want to sponsor three of my uh, three of my uh, students from my school i am going to sponsor half of the education 30% of the education i am going to sponsor oya take lanka yu karanda baya nikan arnold schwarzenegger wage vela eka lanka yu karanda yanne pa oya time karanda onna you have to go here you want to help the community you want to help your neighbors you want to help your school i'm sure all of you would have seen in your school there are rich people poor people middle class people may poor class ek you would have seen there are intelligent students every talent is there they can't go out there because they don't have money you are now somewhere in society you are taking your school's name out there you are a royalist you will not find all royalist rich people you will find some poor boys i have found many royalists sometimes who are very intelligent but they don't have money call your old boys association and say sir i am dr so and so speaking i want to help this one and take responsibility and help ehema karanda na you need to be here okay right me okkama process ekak karanda how are we going to start this process we are going to start this process by understanding how much does it cost for first year if you select a country like belarus there is a university in belarus the witted state medical university in belarus vsmu in belarus will cost as at now 27 lakhs into 6 years one box is 27 lakhs if you select grodno university which is grsmu you can do it at 24 lakhs into 6 years one person might be thinking uh, sir may 3 lakhs difference da 3 lakhs avruddha kata avrudu 6 kata oka laksha 20 ak vitare na 2 million you are going to save right i will select number 3 gsmu it's called gomel state medical university 21 and a half lakhs into 6 years this is how it goes when it comes into bella rose which means this is what you are going to spend all inclusive tuition living hostel insurance everything is going to be spent like this this is all inclusive all inclusive right if someone wants to go to a country like let's say malaysia i want to go to malaysia malaysia course fee only is 45 lakhs a year into 6 years i want to study in india okay india course fee only is 150 lakhs a year into 6 years mama make insurance add karada na transport add karada na ya tickets add karada na kana bone ek add karada na medical add karada no nothing right i want to study in australia or uk or canada or new zealand average you need to spend at least 100 to 140 lakhs a year 
into six years. Mama make add kara the me living cost ka na me cost fee only. Cost fee only. Please, dear students, take a screenshot of what I have put here. This is cost fee only. Hold on, hold on. Screenshot take a gun na kali. Monkey na me thena cost fee only. Cost fee only. Right? Okay. Every ex every university has entrance exams. This university has an entrance exam, which we have already started. This university has an entrance exam, which we have already started. If you are very keen to go into these universities, I would request you to contact your counselors immediately so that you will enter the university for August. May date take a marunot, may graduation of Kuma Venas Venoa. You won't graduate in 2029. Make a postponed winner 2030 world. You need to go in this particular time, which is very important. Mm -hmm. So if someone asks me, do I need A level or shall I apply with pending? I have 75 students who have applied with pending. These people are students who have the right intention to go. You're having a doubt. You're not sure whether you will study medicine. You're not sure whether you will go abroad. You're not sure whether your parents will support you. You're not sure what results you will get. I will definitely get good results. I then have to commit myself very early because 75 students have already obtained their, their seats here, reserved here, and they have made part payments and they are serious to go. May 75 will have a doubt. Mama doctor, the psychologist, the mom, shall I become a doctor or a biomedical scientist? No doubt. Everyone is sure, keen in getting into the field of medicine. If you are sure, don't waste time. Don't waste time. Today is Monday. I will give you time to take this screenshot. Tomorrow, Tuesday and Wednesday, contact your counselors. Ask and meet us and get all the information you want. We are located at Havelock Road in, in Colombo 5. You want to have it on Zoom because may petrol prashna in the Ogolante Elliot and the parents like you know in the right? We will have it online anytime during the day. By Wednesday, Thursday, if you can get registered, you will be part of this part of this group. Menname 75 group, then Yalu will either. You can get to know each other. You will find your study mates because you need to share your rooms, you need to share your hostels you need to share your classes with with friends all of these are going to be one click so we have sometimes two friends come together three friends come together they come and say we have been friends in school for a long time can you put us in one group samara will have cousins la denna tum dena you know can you put us in, in, in one group? So cousins, right? So this is how they can do it. Some people ask if they can join us after all levels. Yes, you can join us after all levels. You can join us after all levels. You have to do a recognized pre-medicine foundation for 10 months. You need to do this course for 10 months. A recognized pre-medicine foundation by the government of Sri Lanka. You can still enter the medical school. You will save enough of time without doing A-levels if you are now after O-levels. Not only that, this qualification is given by Canada's government. The Canada's Ministry of Education will issue you a certificate that you have done a course which is valid worldwide. May 10-month course, Oya may muhate A-level kara gena inna anam, kara la ivaranam, no problem, take a current. By A level, Kerla Kerla Kerla, Lakke Kaknatang, I recommend you to do this particular program. 10 months guaranteed 
99.9% chance you will definitely enter the medical university uh, in the next 10 months after that year. Right. With current conditions, a lot of people think, how will students go abroad? We have registered already 75 students. I recommend you to register because Ogalan Dano may tolerate a tunsia anuata gia, eka parta than tolerate take a thin tunsia panahata. If you can get registered, you can definitely get this dollar rate favoration for you. Wherever the university you go, you will be paying in dollars. So you need to find the most efficient way to do this so you save your parents' money. Mega itamatma vadagat, you know. Right. When you want to go to Belarus, mamme ate pen and angili ganangwal katina advantages, you know. Raja universities, no visa restrictions, visa guarantee, no visa interviews, no ILTS required, no show money in a bank account. Do you know that? Api officially, Lanka wa bank lo thratak. We are bankrupt. Api te naya salli gevan da baha. Ehema unama, do you know what will other countries do? Visa apply karna kota bodda bala na oyaata salli tiyena wada nadda gira. Bank account wala kaling lakshayak pinna and doni na then lakshayak siya panahak tiyena na. Lakshayak siya panahak tiyena na you need to show 200 lakhs now because we are a bankrupt country. We were told in January we will get bankrupt. We were unofficially announced that we will be bankrupt in March, April. We have taken the decision not to pay loans because we can't pay loans only last week. Last week, it is official. Last week, it is official that Sri Lanka is a bankrupt country. When other countries get to know this, they don't like people migrating there. So there will be visa restrictions. There will be money restrictions. Currently, this country doesn't have all that. Currently, this country doesn't have all that. So if you want to go to US, you, Australia, Canada, my advice is get into Belarus, finish your studies. From there, you can migrate to another particular country. Right. Before we close off and go for questions, I would like all of you to check this particular video. This is how one of our universities in Belarus looks like. After this, I want students to ask me questions. Questions type kar lati and I will be replying.
Okay. Please post in your questions. Make a screenshot. Take a gander. Karuna Karla may min may hurry questions. Take a type karana. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, please subscribe. Please subscribe uh, and uh, please post questions. Please post the questions here because uh, uh, I can easily follow the questions from here. Okay, five more minutes we are done because my one hour is up. I have five more minutes to answer all your questions. There is someone who has asked for uh, scholarships. Listen, there is someone who has asked for scholarships. Yes, if you have good results, you can apply with scholarships or you need to find a sponsor. You need to find a sponsor from someone overseas or some organization and we will discuss with them what we will be doing uh, later. Belarus or China, which is better? China is not recruiting physical students for some time because of COVID. China's education is going to be online. If you like to be trapped inside a laptop studying medicine and not going to a physical university, I don't think you will like that. So I think Belarus is much more serious than China. Cost of pre. Only in European Union countries. How should we get a scholarship? You need to talk to your counselors and speak and see they will give you the condition. What's the approved program at Brodno? It's MD. And to obtain a scholarship, you need good A-level results or you need something special about you, maybe sports, maybe something like that. How can we contact the counselor, the person who gave you this link? Do you help to practice with USMLE? Yes, we help you to practice with USMLE, yes. Two minutes more, any questions? Do you have any idea of medical studies in Pakistan or Bangladesh? Pakistan, only one university is recognized in SLMC. Bangladesh has not been recognized since 2014. The, the Bangladeshi unit actually uh, messed up the SLMC's regulation or the quality assurance of uh, doing medicine. That means a classroom has to be some amount of countries, uh, some am amount of numbers. It exceeded the number and the Bangladeshi universities did not recruit Sri Lankan students. So that's the problem. Can it be approved in uh, Gulf countries? Yes. If you study in Belarus, you can work in Gulf countries without a problem. Gulf countries, the income is very high. Can I work as a new doctor in New Zealand? Yes, not a problem. Not a problem. But you need to do the New Zealand entrance exam. Can I apply for a residency in America after completing uh, studies in Belarus? And do you help with us? Yes, we uh, undertake this and we help this because we have officers in Belarus to do all this. We pick you from the airport, we, we drop you, we look after you, we sign an agreement with your mom and dad. All this we actually do. Okay, a couple of seconds. We had over 50 students who participated here. And thank you very much for staying along with this. I'm sure you have more questions. You can get connected to the person who introduced you for this particular session. We will definitely answer all your questions. So I wish all of you folks a pleasant good night, a pleasant evening also. Uh, most importantly, don't forget your goal. You are a person who is created to become a doctor. You all are doctor material. Don't forget how I wrote your name. Go and take a paper and write your name like that and see the feeling you get. Go and put that name in front of your mirror. Go and put that name in front of your wall where you always sit and study. You will understand what it means actually to become a doctor when you call yourself doctor. Tell your parents, tell your mom and dad, I want to become doctor so-and-so. It's like me telling, Mom, Dad, I'm not Intikab, I'm Dr. Intikab. That is going to be your intention. So see you guys. Adios, amigos. Have a pleasant evening. I'll catch you later.
Take care. This particular session will be uploaded on YouTube tomorrow. Cheers.